Hello everybody and welcome to the Midnight Game Room. I'm Marty and welcome to Don't Escape 4. Days in a Wasteland. I have been waiting so long for this. It feels like it feels like it was forever ago. Uh, I have played Don't Escape 1, Don't Escape 2, and Don't Escape 3, which were all flash games on Armor Games by Script Welder, one of my favorite pixel art based game makers ever. Um Pick the 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 stuff that script welder builds are always so intricate and they keep getting crazier and crazier. Like it started off with a simple idea and now we're up to a point where it's released on Steam as a full buyable game. I don't know how long this game is going to be. I did have the option, I will point out, I did have the option for pixel font or uh, smooth font, and I figured for you guys, um, despite the lack of authenticity, uh, I would put it on smooth font just to make it easier to read. Um, I mean, that's that's something I can always change, the difference really being that versus that. Um, I just figured it would be easier for video purposes to have the smooth font, so I don't accidentally read something wrong, because I'm not very good at reading normally. So, um, which is weird, because I like to read. Um, so I don't know anything about this game. I know that it's, you've got four days, you're in a wasteland, and that's a guess. I don't actually know that. Um, I've been waiting for this to come out so long. Uh, I think the last game was in 2015. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was somewhere in 2015, maybe the beginning of 2015. So it's been about four years since another game came out, and I am so excited. So let's jump right in. I don't even know what I'm getting into. I don't know how long this game is going to be, but I've been so excited for it. it I've been following it on Steam. I've been waiting. Left click to interact, right click to examine. Okay. Options menu. It's very nice. Let's save the game. Oh, look at this. There's save slots? Script welder. Damn, you've been doing some work. Okay. Um, well, that's actually a good place to save because that way I can, um, I can actually go through and I can make save points. So if I screw something up, I should be able to go back. And uh, yes, I am recording this in 720 because that's what I upload my videos in. And also it makes it easier to just capture an area. In case anybody was looking at that going, Why aren't you playing it in 1080p? Yes, I can play it in 1080p, no problem. But I don't, I don't trust recordings when everything's full screen. So that's why. Okay. Oh, that's me. What's in the fireplace? I'm assuming this is like, um, Don't Escape 3, where it's like, um, travel is what makes the time go faster. Uh, can I... Okay, you said right-click to examine, but I can't. Let's go out the window. Because we're going to be a little bit different. Oh! Oh! Oh, don't! No! Was that supposed to happen? Did it matter if I did the door or not? Okay, you know what? I'm not very far. Uh, it all felt so real. Okay. You know what? We're gonna find out. We are going to find out. Okay. Uh, we're gonna find out what happens if I go to the door instead. Is it still spiders? Because that was terrifying. It's locked. Oh. Okay. It's dark outside. A sturdy looking door. And spiders! <laughs> okay. Hell of a nightmare. I just, I had to know. I had to know if taking the door, like, I didn't realize it was a teaching moment. I didn't realize they were like, you know, you could go for the door or you'd go for the window. I was just trying to do the wrong thing right off the bat. I was trying to Trying to beat the system. Trying to mess with the man. You, you can't tell me what to do. 
Stanley Parable would disagree. Well, actually, he kind of wouldn't. What a nightmare, okay? It all felt so real, okay? I love that your cursor turns into okay. That's just weird. Uh, remains of campfire, sat, whoa, hang on, a sad pile of ash. It gets really cold in the desert at night. Yeah, of course it would. There's nothing there to keep heat. My old tent, torn and damaged by wind. It won't be of much use to me. I'm gonna move my keyboard over so I got some more mouse room. Uh, can I get anything? The campfire kept me warm through the night. There's nothing left of it now. Can I get back in the tent? I think this tent has served me well long enough. It's too damaged to keep using it. I'll just leave it here. Oh. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm not going anywhere without my trusty backpack. Oh! What's in my trusty backpack? I'm not going anywhere without it. Okay, grab it and let's go. Use the backpack icon to access your inventory. Notice you have a limited carry capacity. Just like me. Oh, we got keyboard shortcuts. So I can carry 30 kilograms as measured by the one kilogram weight that he has there. I'm assuming. Okay, 30 kilograms. Can we go this way? Can't... Oh, that didn't work. That's gonna be a problem if I can click outside of it. Uh, okay, can I go this way? Can I go... Okay, I guess... Oh, there we go. Oh, and what's this? Are those spider webs on the wind? They're huge. I think my nightmare might have been more than just a dream. I still have a couple of hours, but I have to find shelter. Fast. Use journal icon to find to view your journal and check current progress. The moon broken into pieces. Can I go to the moon? It shattered, just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Oh, that's sad. Uh, what's in the journal? Okay, it's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say, so why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day. Ah, God, it's a Majora's Mask thing. I think, uh, yeah, so, um, I had a weird dream last night. Huge spiders attacked me. Their bites were painful. Their poison was burning in my veins. This morning, I saw huge webs carried by the wind. I have to find a place to hide. Okay. I feel like... Because this took four years, and because it's a game that you have to pay in order to play, I feel like this is going to be a much bigger game. So I'm not sure if I'm getting into, like, a ten-episode series, or if I'm getting into, you know, something I can knock off in three. I really don't know. Um, I have not seen anything about this. I've specifically avoided looking anything up. So, ruins. A sad skeleton of a building slowly consumed by sand. Can I go to it? Another ruin slowly swallowed by the desert. Okay. I guess not. An old wall with a small wooden shed. Let's go to that shed! Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, double click to run? Uh, I don't have time to walk around this wall. Okay. Oh! I skipped something! There's gotta be a faster way to get to the other side. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Well, your time is limited, keep in mind, it only advances with certain actions. You will be warned each time before that happens. When you find a hiding place and prepare it for the night, use the clock icon to finish the current day. Oh, okay. What's that? Sledgehammer head. And then I get myself a wooden fence post. For instance, this wooden, pa uh, this wooden pole on the ground seems to be stuck. Pulling it out will be difficult, but with some effort you should be able to get it out. This action will take three minutes. It's 7 a.m., 13 hours left. Do you want to proceed? Oh, boy. They are really micromanaging the minutes here. Three minutes. So it's going to take me to 7.03. Oh, this is, this is going to be... Whew! This is gonna be fun! Do you wanna proceed? Hells yeah, I need my sledgehammer! So that I can put these two pieces together, like that. Oh, I am learning so bad. Uh, put my item here to drop it. Highlight items dropped with shift. Okay. If only that hole was a bit larger, I could squeeze through. Yeah, but that's what I was trying to do. To Wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, hang on. I'm learning, guys! I'm learning! Aha! Oh, dude's a boss! Look at him go at that wall! 
All right, there we go. All right. Uh, so I can go right, or that's it. Into the wasteland. Where was I before? I was in a place with a bunch of sand and dunes and... Uh, some sort of quicksand. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. Really? That's how you're gonna teach me? You suck. Gotcha. Shift to highlight. Swap items. And... Ah! And there's only one way to go. Into the wasteland. Oh, man. Okay, so... 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 Uh, a vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, though you have no other way but to traverse it. This action will take 50 minutes. It's 7.03, 12 hours, 57 minutes left. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Well, the speed you're walking, of course, is going to take forever. Armor Game Studios presents We Take Away 53 Minutes Right Off the Bat, you jerk. Ah. I can't say that name. Matthews Skolakarakar. Script welder. It's the person I love in video games. Not the only person. You know, I can have multiple faves. Four days in a wasteland. Ooh, I've been waiting for this game. I cannot wait to see what this game brings. And I feel like this first episode is literally just going to be like the tutorial. And a, a little bit of, ooh, maybe searching this town. Well, this place looks promising. Yeah, sure it does. A sign. A gas station sign. Can I see what's on the sign? 1.5 miles. Okay. Path uphill. Let's go to the town. There's a tree. Music by Chris Carlone? Carlone? Car you can get your very own Carlone at... Chris's place. A locked window. How, what do you mean a locked window? I have to break that glass if I want to get inside. Yeah, I get that. That's what I meant by locked window. There is no such thing as a locked window if you have a rock. Uh, can I get a rock? It's locked. Can I, can I have a rock? Can, a backyard path. I just pick up one of those rocks and heave it through the window. There's no such thing as a locked window. Ooh, a water sprayer. That's an item, and I want it. I don't know what I'm going to find here. Aside from a water sprayer. 0.5 kilograms. Okay. Okay. Uh, a greenhouse? Can I go in it? I could recycle some of the nails that hold this greenhouse together, but I need a tool for that. Okay, let's go find a hammer. There's got to be one in the house. Back door unlocked. It's locked. Well, these people were super suspicious of their neighbors. Don't be suspicious of your neighbors. Just let them break in and steal your stuff. God. Oh, 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 a barn. Burns, oh wait, hang on, a tractor. Months spent out in the open, took its toll on this tractor, it's completely ruined, there isn't even anything to salvage. That is baloney? The engine's probably still good. Uh, a cargo box, an emergency power generator, water pump, an irrigation control system, a short pipe. Yeah, I'll take that. A haystack? Is there a needle in it? it. Come on. There are some seriously big holes in this pipe. Uh, is that it? Aw, oh, man. A pesticide inlet. I should find a way into that house before I start fiddling with things in here. Do you have anything in here? I should find... Yes, I get it. Cargo box. Uh, there's nothing in the cargo box. I've got a water sprayer and a short pipe. So is that somewhere I can store stuff? Oh, right. I can double click. I should find a way to get into that house. I'm trying to find a way into that house. I'm trying to find a thing what was does the break glass. Ugh. Where do I find break glass? Water irrigation system. Pipes seem to cover a lot of areas surrounding the house with the irrigation system. Yeah, okay, I get it. Rust beast junk. Sad thing is, tractor wasn't even old when the world ended. Damn it. 
How do I get into the house? I have to break that glass if I want to get inside. Uh, what about... This music is just freaking epic. Aha! There we go! Use the pipe to break the glass! See? No window is ever locked. This place looks abandoned. Okay, staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert the ruin into a fortress. Uh, this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. I should look around and explore. The road sign might be a good start. Yeah, it's at a gas station 1.5 miles. I already checked it because I am smarter than you. This photo of an old lady was taken several years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. The fireplace is empty. Only some ash from previous use is still scattered all around in it. I also think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel any air draft. That's actually good news, at least for now. What? Old-fashioned painting of an old-fashioned wooden hut somewhere in the... Oh, that's the first game. That's a throwback. Ooh, a storage chest. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? A broken hammer. Your inventory is limited. You can put items here for later use. Okay. You can also just drop them on the ground. They will not disappear. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, hammer with a broken handle. It's useless until I fix it somehow. The world seems to be full of broken hammers. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I need the water sprayer for now. If I ever find water, I will do that then. Uh, what do we got? Oh, the kitchen. Buy milk! I think they never bought that milk. That would be a good guess. Some phone numbers are listed on this piece of paper. Yeah, well, there's no phone companies anymore. I've opened the oven. I've also switched it on, but nothing happened. There's no power! Okay, so that's where the generator comes into play. It's locked. So I can't even unlock it from here? Oh, okay, there we go. Keys. Yeah, I get it. It's locked. Uh, hang on. I got keys. Boom! There. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I shouldn't have unlocked that. Uh, wait, can I lock it again? Oh, I can! Okay, we're leaving that locked for now. Keys are staying with me at all times. Okay. Um, so with the door open, I could see other stuff. That makes me wonder if that's a thing I should do. There we go. Um, no, there's nothing else special in here. That is a really cool effect, especially for a game that's pixelated like this. I love this. I love this so much. Oh man. It may have been worth the wait. It may have been worth the wait. It may have been. I haven't, I haven't checked yet. Stack of documents. There was a paper clip holding several sheets of paper. That- Dude! That was a stack of paper like this! It was as big as my head! And there was a paper clip holding that? Alright. The documents themselves don't hold any useful information, just some invoices for farming equipment. But does that give me a paper clip? Oh, yeah, it does. Now I got myself a paper clip. The screen is all cracked, and the case seems to be partially burnt. This PC won't work. Um... Okay, so we get a ladder to the ceiling hatch, but we've also got a bathroom, so let's check out the bathroom. Once I'm done exploring this house, that's probably where I'm going to end this one. That's me. I should probably wash myself. If only I had the time. Um, there's no time to take a bath, unfortunately. A window. A nice view around the wasteland, with the moon hanging above like an executioner's axe. Okay, um, so none of this does anything? There's nothing to do in the bathroom? I find that hard to believe. You don't put a bathroom there for no reason. What do we got in this window? Yep, okay, so that's what the windows are gonna say. We're ignoring the bed for now. I'm assuming if I go to sleep, that will... It's locked and I can't find any means of opening it. Not even... Okay, not even with my keys. Um... Interesting. So... 
Oh, really? I found an abandoned house that looks like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road to look for something to fortify this place with. Ah, so you want me to go to the gas station. Well, let me try something here. I want to see. Hmm. Aha! Good! The front door and back door are the same key! That's what I was curious about! Okay. Oh, we are in for another fun time. I can't wait to see where this game goes, but I am going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, take care. Game on.